so dear students uh, today i'm going to explain the concept of normal distribution so before going to the problem so you understand the diagram okay so just i'm drawing one diagram just i'm taking pen so please understand this diagram so any problem you can solve it now so this is nothing but a normal distribution is like a bell shaped curve okay it's a bell shaped curve so in middle you will be having the mean mu is equal to zero so mu is nothing but this is called mu so generally you can write mean it is also same as mu or it is also called as x bar so in normal distribution the mean can be represented with the symbol mu okay so the value z value is equal to zero so once if it is going now it is positive okay so it starts from zero it will go to till positive infinity from this side it will be till negative infinity so from minus infinity to the z is equal to zero this area is then uh, this is 0.5 and from zero z is equal to zero to okay the positive infinity this area is also 0.5 the total area okay of normal distribution is one so how you are getting this one by adding the negative side 0.5 plus 0.5 so total area of normal distribution is one this is important point you need to remember so whatever the area okay whatever the area so this area is also 0.5 and this side area also 0.5 to all together the total area is of normal distribution is 1 so whatever the syllabus which is given by the university that is related to the uh, area property so we need to use the area table so that table i'm showing to you just once observe it now so this is the table which is given by the normal distribution this is area table so here i am using one table so please try to concentrate here so the table i'm using here 0 to z so 0 to z means that uh, positive side okay so before i said already or that it is a bell shaped curve so here 0 okay here 0 and here plus infinity i said okay clear na so what are the table which you are seeing this is positive side table sir what about the negative side table so you can use from here to here what were, what are the values are there from this from 0 to negative infinity also we need to use the same table so the negative means it will be left side if you are getting positive means it is right side so, so that is indication don't be get uh, confusion that so the same table we are referring for the left hand side as well as right hand side this is one important point you need to remember so what i am doing here now so just i am explaining the concept so i think this uh, diagram is clear for you so what i will do i'll explain one problem to you so just just understand this problem so what is asking in the see solving the normal distribution problem is nothing but understanding the diagram once you understand the diagram you can solve any problem in normal distribution so what i am going to do here so i am taking the pen so first what is asking find the area to the right of z is equal to 0.21 so first to draw the one diagram as per the question you draw one diagram so it is you know already normal distribution is like it is a bell shaped curve so here you are getting the z value z is equal to 0 so somewhere 0.21 is nothing but it is a positive value so somewhere you will get so i am assuming that value will come here so the value will come here the z is equal to 0.21 so what is that now you know already from 0 to till complete this area will be 0.5 so what is asking right of z is equal to 0.21 so 0 to 0.21 so this area we, we need to find we are going to find this area so what is asking not the, the, he is asking what are the area you get na this area is asking so 0.21 right side area 0.21 right side area means this area we need to find so how to get this area now you know total area is 0.5 after this you what are the value you are getting that you subtract from this number so you will get the remaining area okay so the same thing i'm going to write here so what do you have to write here area area from area from okay z is equal to 0 to 0 to z is equal to 0.21 is how much so go to the table okay so look at the table here so 0.21 0.2 and 1 so this column so what is the area which is given here 0.0832 so malum hai na kaisa table dekhna 0.21 hai 0.21 to 0.2 row 0.2 row this is first column this is first column okay column 
so 0 0.2 row first column it means 0 0.832 so same thing so what i am doing here i am writing here is 0 0.0832 so samajh mein so it means what this array is nothing but 0 0.0832 so what is asking the area right of z is equal to 0 0.21 your right side z is so it means from 0 to 0 0.21 you are getting 0 0.832 so what is asking right of 0 0.21 so this area we need to find so write it here area okay of the right area of the right okay of z is equal to 0 0.21 is okay is equal to total area is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.0832 so sir why you are subtracting because we need to find this area so total area you know already 0 0.5 this may say is going to aqua area okay so this will be 0 0.4168 so this will be the answer so please understanding the diagram is very very important so someone may not total area 0 0.5 malume to 0 se leke 0 0.2 ka area aapko malum ho gaya to inu kya bola z is equal 0 point ke right side jo bhi area bacha to ye area ye area ye area kya hota bolke pucha ye area kya hota bolto total area to malum hai aapko total area mein se ye value nikalta to aapko ye portion ka value aa jata so that is what i did here the same thing so the next video one more small problem i'll explain so after that i'll go to the bigger problem so before uh, going to the concept Please subscribe my channel Anu Computer Education. So in future, what are the videos I'm going to upload in my channel? So immediately you can get a notification. Okay. Thank you.